Oh boy. Uh, so yeah, we don't have any recaps this week because again, there's nothing. There's not much going on. So we're just gonna jump into shoutouts because you guys are cool. Well, here's something to to recap. I guess uh, Nina posted on our Tumblr a uh, gameplay video of Cuphead, mm-hmm. uh, which is that video game we've been talking about where it's based off of you know Golden Age animation. It's not out yet though, right? It, it's not. It was a demo. Yeah. Um. What I learned from this video, I didn't watch the whole thing because I actually kind of can't stand videos of people talking over video games. Yeah. Video game people are. But anyway, I, I watched like at least half of it and learned some stuff. Uh, they're going for as much verisimilitude as they can. They're drawing everything on paper with pen and ink and painting the color and then scanning it in. Oh, so they're insane. Yeah. So all they're the, insane All people. the sound effects are Foley. Wait, so they're painting the color? They're not doing cells? Or maybe they're doing cells. They're scanning everything. Okay. Uh, you you take the animation history class. You probably know more than I do. Um, the board, like the little uh, frames where they show the dialogue, mm-hmm. they got a friend of one of the developer's grandfather is some old fuck who used to do that. You somebody the inner titles? Yeah, somebody had to paint those. I kind of never realized that like somebody had to paint that by hand. Yeah. yeah. So they found that guy's like, you haven't worked in 150 years. <laughs> <laughs> so do this. Um, you know, all the music is orchestrated. Uh, the Foley thing is, is interesting. And here's good news. Everything that has been shown of the game is of like the normal difficulty. The difficulty that they're scaling the game for because they're going for that classic like Mega Man appeal. They're gonna make easier difficulties. Thank God. Hooray for Nina and, and Tooch. Tooch. Yeah. yeah. And if you play it co-op, it it doesn't seem like it scales itself to be harder to like a lot of co-op games. If you go co-op, it'll be like okay, one point two damage on everything to you know scale it. It looks like it's just you know twice as many bullets. And like if the other guy dies, you're you can still go mm-hmm. like Contra. So, I think, like, Contra. Yeah, yeah, Contra. Yeah, so, there's no downside to having somebody else be, um... Or you might share a pool of lives, I don't know. But, yeah, it looks like it's not going to be as hard as all the current footage looks if you play on an easy... Th- that's what the, one of the guys says, like, okay, here's the regular difficulty, and then we're going to make it playable for mortals. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and I think everything that they've really shown so far has been, like, boss battles. Like, they haven't shown the regular levels, but, you know, yeah. they look really, really cool. Yeah, we're super excited about that. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, I'm really glad it's coming out for Steam, because I would have to buy an Xbox One for that. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, let's get into some shoutouts, because we love you guys. So we got uh, Jimmy sent us an email, and he says, In the spirit of the holidays, and the references to it in the Rise of the Guardians episode, I just wanted to share some more of this wonderfully strange bit of German-Austrian culture in reference to Krampus. Yeah. Um, Jimmy's has spent some time living in Austria, so he's able to learn a lot of the lore firsthand. Um, some of his favorite things include the Krampuslauf, or the Krampus Parade, where a bunch of men in their 20s and 30s get wasted and put on Krampus costumes. Oh, I didn't know they were drunk for it. That's even better. Which include <laughs> devil masks and furry pants with tons of cowbells on I them. I really should have assumed. Yeah. And walk down the main square of the city while breathing fire and scaring children. Also sometimes hitting people with sticks. Like Buck. <laughs> um, we have that in America. My fucking in, in my Manhattan. dream. In, in Manhattan, there's a thing called SantaCon, and it sucks. Yeah, it's the worst. I hate it. <laughs> uh, uh, my understanding is that everybody who's not in it despises those fucking people. Yeah. Um, and tying into the lore, many carry baskets on their back, which Krampus uses to abduct small children if they are bad. Um, if this is something an Austrian friend of mine had happened to him when he was a small child, probably by some drunk dude who was having fun. Oh, that's the worst. That uh, sounds like, this might suck a little bit. That sounds like the fucking worst. I mean, to be fair, Santa Claus can be just as terrifying to children. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like they're, they're imploring their mother and or father, please don't put me on this strange man's lap. Like, there what are, are entire doing? coffee table books filled of bad, s- small Santa photos <laughs> of just, like, the child being so miserable. Yeah, and instead of doing something, instead of, like, not doing that, like, we just, like, oh, well, I get, like, this is a tradition now, which means we have to do it, even though this child is terrified. 
Yeah. So this was super cool. Thank you, Jimmy. I really appreciated this. Yeah, this is awesome. It's really fun to learn about this stuff. Learning. Yay. Let's see. Other email we have. This is the coolest email we've ever gotten. By, I am uh, terrified. Have you seen this? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, uh, our friend Lauren, uh, Seaweed Queen, or friend, fan, went through episode 1 through 50 and compiled her favorite quotes from each episode. And we're going to forward this to the person who's doing the wiki, and we're also going to tell, we're going to make this, we're going to make some connections happen. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to read these goofs again. Yeah, I... I'm going to read this on our plane of uh, plane trip. It's going to be awesome. Oh, man. I'm going to print this shit out. And, like... Oh, my God. There's a lot. Um. Oh, I'm glad you also did homework, too. I, I would have felt bad if you just listened to all of this shit without accomplishing anything other than God. this. Not that I don't appreciate <laughs> this, but, you know. Yeah, he's going to... Oh, my God. Uh, so thank you so much. We're going to share it with everybody. Hopefully you don't mind. I'm assuming you did it to share. Um, yeah, that's super awesome. All right, Dante4973 on SoundCloud says, Have you guys ever considered a Tiny Goons episode where you guys discuss a specific aspect of a show, like Fusion and Steven Universe, such as the dancing, music, design, personality, motivation of each? Like a, I guess sort of like a deep, deconstruction of small bits that make up what the show is. Uh, I haven't considered that in the past. Um, I feel like that's not our style. I yeah, don't I don't know. I mean, I recently <laughs> compiled the, and like, cr okay, <laughs> I recently went through all the color symbolism in Utna and sort of like broke it down to what's God. going down. Uh, so I could do an episode about that, I guess. Did, I don't quest, think these Question, other... did you ever, did you ever figure out what that kid was doing with that stopwatch? Well, that, that, that I, no, no. <laughs> I mean. Dang it, someday. Well, well, I have my theories, and my theories are similar to most people's theories. I think we talked about them on the show, so they can watch that episode. Yeah, yeah. I, I just focused on the colors. Yeah. Because that's that, that's that's anchorable. You can tie yourself down to that and like always have like okay. I, at least I know th that's blue. <laughs> <laughs> I have something. Um, uh, at Taka Laka Nobaka uh, <laughs> says a shout out to uh, Mach Three Podcast and the Two Goons for great discussions and analysis. Negative shout out for not having infinite episodes. What the fuck, guys? This other episode, Match Three podcast. I, it says, is it, is, it, is, it, "Is it Mock Three? It's Mach. It's Match Three. Match. Three. Oh, I thought L like puzzle games. Oh, like be like Bejeweled. Exploring the cultural context of video games. So it sounds like they do a similar thing to us. Uh, yeah. We I mean, we'd love to have infinite episodes. Um, that's why we do them every damn week. Yeah. Um. And I've been running some polls on our Twitter that have been getting some response. Uh, we did one, I asked one, and I was limited by having only four choices. This is, I didn't think this out of, uh, Marceline's best outfit. I forget which was it, what was missing? That had to have been the one that won. I, I don't know. Mine, my vote was a write in for Princess Day. Yeah. Yeah, that one was good where she's like all 50s. At yeah. Jim Dev 3 said they liked uh, five more short Grables, Marcy. Yeah, but what was missing got 50% of the vote. I put Sky Witch in there because I thought that one was really cool. Nobody voted. Yeah. Uh, and then I did another one recently for. Um, uh, this was. Was it yesterday? Yeah. The, the day before we were recording this was um, the anniversary of the season four finale, the series finale of. Uh, Legend of Korra, and the anniversary of explicitly canon Korasami. And I Happiest did a, day of my life. Yeah, I did a, col a poll for what should be the name of it, and there was a goddamn tie between Korasamika and Feast of St. Korasami. <laughs> and I think... I like Korasamika. Yeah. yeah, I like Korasamika. Yeah, maybe we'll do another vote where it's because just those Because Korasama sounds like a crossover shit between Korra and Samasaran. Yeah, which is fine. Uh, <laughs> and then Korasami Ween is just for me. Somebody else vote. I wasn't the only one who voted for, but um, 
that's basically. The... Oh, also, I'm not sure if it's still going on, but uh, Attack the Light is. I don't think it's still going on. Yeah, we'll we'll cut that. We, we, I I made sure to reblog it on our account. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. Apparently, Attack the Light is getting some recognition from some gaming press for, for like mobile goaty for being uh, the best. Yeah, it's yeah. not getting as much as it should I... be. You know, I'm kind of mad that when it was free, I didn't delete my file and then download the free one so I could play it all over again. Because <laughs> that's the only thing about it. It's just sitting on my phone. It's like, I want to play it again. Oh, I'll never delete it. It'll stay there forever to remind me that I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Reddit is still uh, going on. It's still, you know, there's been a, a decent amount of topics on there. Um, more people have started... Uh, adding stuff. There's a a thread there which is um adding more stuff to the pile. So if you, that's a great place to to do that. Yeah, it'll be good for us too to like go back and. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. If if, if everybody can just if everybody can just focus on there, then you can stop just because then it'll be nice to have a central hub. Because it, it can yeah. get sort of like, oh, okay, we got to remember this email and copy paste it. And yeah, it I keep forgetting and... to update the our list. So actually, having everything, yeah, man, there would be so go to go to the Reddit r slash cool. uh, goons and add to that pile with whatever you want to shout out as to watch. Yeah, and there's some cool shit on here. There's an Avatar final finale pencil test. There's um the the sneak peek for the next episode of Steven is on there. There's that wonderful every frame of painting on uh, Satoshi Kon's use of editing, which if you haven't seen is really awesome. Uh there's a lot of cool stuff on here. You guys are so cool. Yeah, yeah you guys are really fucking cool. <laughs> and uh I, there was one thread I participated in his favorite cartoon soundtrack to which I I contributed the most disparate goddamn list that has ever existed, which is <laughs> Peanuts, home movies, and the Blaze Blue anime. <laughs> Nikki, you suck. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, nobody liked that post. I didn't get, I didn't get any karma for it. I don't know if they know it's. Sure, they, they, they know it's me. It's about me. Anyway. Here's the, here's the thing. I would love to talk about the Blaze Blue anime on this show, but I would also never make anybody watch it, especially my two best friends. <laughs> I'll t- I'll it's do not, it. It's not good. I liked it a lot. It's not good. <laughs> Yo, I pl- I plan on making Devin watch so much bad robot anime that he doesn't want to for retrospective. <laughs> Because I know that we we don't like watching bad stuff for this show. I need to I need yeah. to I need to make him suffer for the yucks. N- Nina tried to go down the blaze blue story mode path with me and she couldn't and i don't blame her it's <laughs> it's not good i know there's good stuff in it but the execution is just dump yeah oh man but speaking of metrospective uh what do you guys got cooking up uh well um i'm about to dro- by the time this episode comes out i'll have i'll have i'll have dropped the shin get a robe up so i was talking about before and then we plan on doing uh, we, we're going back to Mobile Suit Gundam, and we're doing uh, the, the the short animated series. I, I don't know if it was an OVA series or not. I think, but um, Eighth MS Team, hmm. which is which is basically about like a like a small unit of like soldiers, actually, not just one pilot being the hero, like it, fighting the war, like on on Earth in like the in like the in like a jungle. It's 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 pretty it's pretty it's pretty fun. Sounds cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it, it was a, it's, it's a cool show, and, um, I look forward to slam jamming all of it. <laughs> Still ain't gotta do that. Ah, uh, oh, well, boy. it's holidays. It's perfect time to... It, it is. ...warm up on your couch and watch all the anime. But yeah, that's, uh, mechtrospective.tumblr.com. <laughs> Check it, we're on iTunes and everything. Yeah. Alright, where can they find us, Nikki? Alright, um... We, you can find, our main website is our Tumblr, which is the com, which has an archive of all our episodes, and you, know, you can send us an ask there. Uh, we answer some via Tumblr, but most of them we address here on the show. Oh, and with any of these, if you would prefer to remain anonymous or not have it shouted out at all, just say so. It's no problem. Yeah, yeah man, we're, we are cool. Yeah. Saves us some airtime. Uh, <laughs> and we do read everything. Um, you know, we're on Twitter at the Toon Goons. Yeah, I've been I'm trying to do more of these polls to um you know, have some kind of fan interaction. 
Yeah, we, we will never ignore you. We are so thirsty for recognition. Yeah. <laughs> I also want everybody to follow Tooch's Tumblr, which is... Is it Tooch Blur? Uh, well, that's that's the, what I titled it. The it's, URL is just Mike, Mike Tooch, Tooch, one word. Mike Tooch, one word. Tooch has been th- doing this series of <laughs> Brad Neely-inspired drawings of Fushigi Guy. <laughs> and they're... Nina and I... Adore these. They're my favorite. Every like everybody I show them to is like, I don't get it, but I love it. it I'm th- like, me too. This is some next level shit. Yeah, I I can't get enough of these fucking guys. <laughs> yeah. The there's the tag on Tumblr is tag Fushigi guy. How do you spell Fushigi? Fucking catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, we're also on Twitter, uh, Nikki the Rat. Mike Tooch, Nini and Ichi. You mentioned SoundCloud. The, the other stuff where our email is the tunegoons at gmail.com. You can find us uh, on all, you, the following. Just find us by searching iTunes, SoundCloud, Facebook. Yep. We got this fan made Reddit, r slash tunegoons, YouTube, the tunegoons podcast. There's the fan wiki made by superfan Cranky Hermit. Uh, between now when we record the last episode, there's now a page for every goon. Uh, still has a lot of work to do. So, you know, if you want to just start putting quotes on there, it'll be great. Yeah, I, I want to show this to my mom. Yeah. <laughs> they called me an animation expert. I got to live up to that. Yeah. <laughs> you know a lot of shit about fucking... I guess. Garbage cartoons no yeah. one cares about. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and also cartoons people care about. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I hope in this list of quotes they mention that episode when uh, we both remembered but ugly Martians existed. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I think that it. was the moment when I knew this podcast was great. Uh, you know, I had forgotten about but ugly Martians until you mentioned it again. So uh. I think it made it in the forget. Steven Universe episode because he was comparing the Crystal Gems to the but ugly Martians. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Uh, You're right. I was. Because <laughs> it fits. <laughs> we gotta end the show. Yeah. All right. Um. That's all of the stuff. Oh, next week we're off. Yeah. Because Nina and I are gonna be on vacation. We're just. It's, it's Christmas. Come it, on. It's also it's also December Ween, so we can't do that. Happy December Ween, everybody. Yeah. Um, I'll post it. I'll post a three hour episode of me by myself screaming as I watch some cartoon. Who cares? Hope you had a good Hanukkah. Um. Just have a good December break for yeah. everybody. Uh, we're coming back in Japan for Japanuary. The first one we're gonna do is Spirited Away. Yeah. If you want to get a like a head start on watching the shows, we're doing Cromartie High School and One Punch Man. Yeah, and, and, something and a else, secret special secret. A secret even from us. We don't know what it is. A secret sauce. <laughs> oh, I thought I was out of the loop. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, well, none of us are in the loop. We made oh, a loop shit. We made a loop and then just let it roll down the hill. I hope someone lets <laughs> us in the loop before we got to do that episode. Uh. <laughs> All right, anyway, that's the, that's the show. I've been Nikki. I've been Nina. I continue to be Tooch. And thank you for two... Wait, like the... Okay, like the how. Thank you for... Is that what a house sounds like? Yeah, sure. Tuning in. Tuning in. See you guys in 2019. 2016. 2016. I'm really tired.